All right, I'm gonna hang out with Mark here. Getting ready to put this hard drive into my computer. And I'm about to take on the Arch Challenge. I'm about to take the Arch Linux Challenge. Right now you're seeing my computer booted up as Windows 7. And within a few moments here, I'm gonna install that drive, um, boot off a USB stick, follow some steps I printed out here on a piece of paper, and I'm going to take the Arch Challenge. 30 days of Arch Linux. So, here we go. All right, here we go. Look at that screen. This is totally geeking out now. Here we go. Installing, baby. Installing. Ah, makes me nervous. Well, here I am, seven days later. <clears throat> Actually, exactly a week from when I took my first clip. Um, I'm sorry I didn't vlog much of the process because I just was so into it and so addicted to it that I just did it. But I have been writing a document, a it's going to be a PDF and a blog post up on Brayhawk uh, Tech's website um, in the future, along with this video um, of what's going on. And so, yeah, got everything working up, got my docky, that was my dock of choice, GNOME uh, 310. Um, Got my browser working, got my basic software working, and eventually I'm going to tackle video editing in this using um, Lightworks. Um, so yeah, this should definitely be interesting, and we also got another surprise you can see probably from a picture we posted here on Facebook. But we got a new toy, the Wii U, and yes, you know I couldn't wait, and who knows, will I be shitting on this game? Wiping my ass with it? Well, guess we'll have to find out. So, got the new Donkey Kong Country game. My wife got Super Mario 3D World. And of course, comes with two, uh, well, one Mario game, one Luigi game. Yeah. So, there we go. Time to get this baby hooked up and bye bye, old Wii. Bye bye. All right, and before I get started here, we gotta start it with a Compi Steel Reserve. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm. Yeah, let's get our game on. Looks like we got some type of stand. Not sure what it's for. It includes an HDMI cable. Nice. Sensor bar. I wonder if I can. Is this the same? I could use the old. Nah, I better replace it. Just replace everything. Well, here she is in her glory. Beautiful and shiny. And this is even cooler. It's better than I expected. It actually fits really comfortable in my hand. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Uh, make sure I'm on the right input, which is input one, I believe. Okay. Now we're booting it up for the first time. Nope, that's not. Which one is it? Which one's two? Two is the piece. Moment of truth, did I hook it up right? Oh boy, it's making me nervous. Let's see a picture. Now it's telling me to turn on the Wii U console. And, well, looks like I've got some more setting up here. I don't know what it is yet, but I guess I'll have to figure it out. Well, that was weird. Turns out you had to unplug the HDMI and plug it back in. I'm starting to freak out. I thought my inputs were screwed up or something. But, let's see here. Ta-da! We are good to go. Now let's set this baby up, get it on the Wi-Fi, and uh, play some Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's got a crash course on setting up everything here uh, for the wireless internet because my wireless internet works by MAC address and passwords so that way it's more secure but it's doing this one heck of a update going on here it must be a big update this thing must have been sitting in a warehouse for a long time so I'm gonna play with my Arch Linux until it's done and well so far my Arch experience has been very very good 
One downside is that my graphics card <clears throat> doesn't really like it that much. Of course, it's an ATI, and after doing a lot of research on some forms, looks like the Gigabyte um, or any um, NVIDIA GTX 760 will solve all my problems <clears throat> and make things a lot more smoother. For example, as you can see here, when I scroll over these, you can see it gets a little laggy because the graphics card can't keep up. Because I'm just using a, the cheap, like, $50 ATI 1 gigabyte uh, graphics card. So it, it's kind of laggy in areas because unlike Windows um, 7, this is very graphically, this is almost like um, a 3D game version of a desktop, even though it doesn't look like it. But there's a lot of 3D elements built into the OS as you can see here with moving menus and choosing your windows that's open a lot of 3d going on so I need uh, not the cheap but I'm gonna have to go a little big here so um, I believe this should fix my issues I have to get a new um, power supply which means the server is gonna have to get moved into here and this is getting moved into there of course the new power supply and graphics card to fit because this won't fit in this case and the reason why i had to go cheap on this one is because the only size graphic cards and i built this so it looks like i want to go bigger because really this is too much for a server and this is too little for power well after about an hour of downloading and annoying music it's finally installing it so for now i figured well a long wait for a new Donkey Kong Country game. Kind of brings back memories, you know? When I used to look forward to a new Donkey Kong Country game when I was a kid. When Donkey Kong Country 2 came out. When Donkey Kong Country 3 came out. It was a very exciting moment, including for the Donkey Kong lands for the Game Boy back in the day. And it's kind of weird, here I am, 31 years old and having that child nostalgia of Donkey Kong Country again. Uh, the disc looks pretty cool. Uh, hopefully it won't turn brown. Um, like the old days and maybe I'll learn something here. Yeah. Manual looks very colorful. Is there any smart remarks? In the older manuals, Cranky Kong would uh, make smart remarks and little cartoon bubbles around the manual and it doesn't look like this has that. Okay, well that was a very long update. <clears throat> Let's finally hop this bad boy in. So here we go. Donkey Kong Country 2014. Now that's what I'm talking about. No token. There you go. They're running on the map. So far, I have been very impressed with some of the nostalgia they had in that first level. That's all I'm gonna say. A lot of nostalgia in there. And tonight, we are playing ourselves some South yeah. Park. I just, we'll see if it works. That's right, butters. Let's see if this works. General Ryu, let's do this. Damn! Oh. oh boy! Oh boy! Well, here I am, back in Windows 7. Good thing I didn't format my drive. Uh, what happened is I did a system update on Arch, and one of the packages that got updated broke the um, ATI drivers, and right now there's no way around it. Um, I've learned my lesson. Um, I didn't follow steps like be able to install Clonezilla or some type of snapshot system to where when you update something, you can roll back. So if something breaks, you can just roll back on an update, whatever. Um, I didn't follow that and do that. So right now, I'm, right now it's near the end of the weekend and I just want to get <laughs> back online because i got to do what i got to do. So I guess um, I'm going to have to try this challenge again. Um, and take the uh, lessons that I learned. I was really starting to love it too. I was really, 
really, really love an arch. Um, it's very stable, very beautiful, but my first initial problem was the ATI drivers were giving me problems um, in my ATI card, were giving me problems from the start. And um, I might still be able to save the installation if I, when I get the um, new NVIDIA card, new graphics card, and two new monitors, because another issue I was having trying to fix the issue was because I have two monitors, um, one's 10 years old and the other one's about four years old, and they're both two different resolutions, and that's causing me an issue as well for the dual monitors, because it's just it's confused, it's like, ugh. But uh, I had a really fun uh, week, about a week and two days with it. I can't wait to get back to it and fix this issue, um, but I got about a week's wait before my shipment comes in the mail, so. I guess until then, I'm kind of stuck. Um, yeah. Oh well, this happens. And um, learn your lesson. Make sure to install some type of snapshot or clonezilla or something. You can take snapshots before you update and work the whole thing so you can at least go back to what you did. So lesson learned. And when I get the new video card, if things still don't work, I'm definitely making sure my next installation, I do a snapshot clonezilla type of step so that way if I break something, I can roll back. What really sucks is coming home on your lunch break to find out the, uh, you know, the delivery man's been here with your two 26 inch monitors, new power supply and video card. Ooh, it's gonna make the rest of the day a long, long day until I can get off work and come home and play with this. Ooh, yeah. All right, it's time to retire this desktop. As you can see, got the old 22 inch there, the 19 inch monitor there. The server, which has served us so, so well for Minecrafting, um, FTPing, and our um, chat server is going down because I need this case. I mean, I'm going to move the parts over to this one, um, but I'm going to move some of the parts over here so we can fit this bad boy in there. Yeah, look at this. It's a four gigabyte uh, GeForce GTX 760. So we're going to be um, installing this. Um, if you want to see me unbox it, I am streaming this live right now. And of course, you if you want to see me do the unboxing of this stuff, I will be doing it live. Of course, new power supply and two new 26 widescreen monitors. Off. They have been put out of service. They were a great service. And now it's time to do some upgrading. And there's the video card <clears throat> right there. Power supply is still hiding back here. Monitors are still waiting because I want to get those up here after I kind of clean things up. So <clears throat> let's get started. Well, as you can see here, we've got a mess. The live stream died three times. For some reason, this old laptop here doesn't like Google Hangouts, so we're using my wife's. But so far, I got the new video card in. Only thing I'm not liking about this situation is it's kind of blocking my SATA ports here. Kind of those energy engineers didn't think about that one, did they? So right there. You probably can't see, but oh well. It's all in there. New power supply. Got the new graphics card in here. Just got to screw things down. And that's the old one. That's the old how it used to look. So here's the old graphics card here. <laughs> Impressive, huh? Not really. <clears throat> so now, it's pretty much buttoning things up, tightening things down, and then we get to have the moment of truth when you turn the power on. All right, we're ready for the official boot up test to see if it posts, but right now, I need to get some monitors up here, or at least one monitor. So that's what I wanna do now is get a monitor up here so we can get this baby hooked up, give it the initial power up, the moment of truth, and let's go from there. One minor setback that's just gonna make me have to wait until tomorrow because the monitors included only um, um, a, a VGA, so <laughs> I have to go buy another DVI cable. Luckily though, I do have one to at least get one set up tonight, so I'm just gonna have to be one monitor tonight. So, Darn. One of those things, I guess it happens. So tomorrow I'll be running for that so I can 
power. Everything's spinning up, all the fans working. Yes. Oh, it's very quiet. Very quiet. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! Of course, there's no hard drive, so it's just going to get stuck here. Loading operating system. Okay, the moment of truth is done. Boot disk failure, insert system disk. Well, I'm going to put a hard drive in in a minute, but. <sighs> all right, it's all put together. Decided to take this door off because it just was in the way. It's going to be the in the way for the other monitor, which I want to get that monitor at least set up tonight. Cleaning everything up, get everything ready, at least get it up there. And be looking good, and tomorrow I should be able to do a monitor. I haven't decided on the placement of this because it all depends on the other screen. So I'm going to get that done now. All right, picked up my $41 uh, <laughs> DVI cable for, for the other monitor because there's only one place in town that had one of them. Uh, yeah, they price gouged me pretty dang good. But here we are. For the first time ever, I actually have two dual monitors that are exactly the same. Wow. Here's the keyboard compared to monitor and everything. This is this new setup. Put that over there. I got the old 23 inch up there. What I'm going to do is actually be able to try to see what I can do about getting a makeshift server that can be turned on when needed. Um, so that's what that's going to be up there. Uh, but that'll be the weekend's project. But here we are. Oh yeah. Well, quick update, um, when I went to put the arch back in, of course the ATI drivers that I've installed like five different times and five different versions, and uh, ugh, it was a mess. It was really messing things up, so I decided to wipe the system and do a fresh install with an NVIDIA graphics drivers, and it works beautifully, flawlessly. But now that I got the system up and running and pretty much set, basically I'm creating a Clonezilla image this time, so if I do mess anything up, I can restore from these images. So, yeah. Just gotta remember to do this before I do any big system updates or anything big or major to the OS. So, lesson learned. Remember, if you're getting into Arch, get into Clonezilla. It will be a lifesaver in the future. All right, we're here in our monthly Google Hangout with Chris Perillo. You can see here, we got a good crowd this time. And there's everybody down there. There's Chris Perillo. Be a little bit worse than a fracture if I have to take him to the doctor. And we're talking about cars that are catching on fire, and um, you know, and LED cars. But look at Chris. There's Joe Perillo right there. Joe Perillo, yeah. So there we go. Just doing a live hangout and enjoying my arch. Got arch all going perfectly this time. This has probably one of been one of my best installs so far. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. Perfect crisp hangout. Oh yeah. Okay, is the computer freeze up yet? Is that Mac Mac crashing you? Yeah, I kind of figured as much. But anyways, my little pony. My little pony is better. My little pony. All right, getting ready to edit this vlog here in Lightworks. And they also will have Tommy and Mark in a hangout all over here. So here we go, the first major vlog done in Linux. So, well, I did it. Painstakingly, hours later, I did it. I have edited a vlog in Linux, I've done it. I just need this last clip to put at the end to render it and upload. So there. I can do everything I can do in Arch Linux. And stay tuned because this PC is going to become, I don't know, we'll turn it into a file server or something. But yeah, pretty much, I did it. I did it. I like Arch Linux, and I'm going to stay with Arch Linux for a while. And if you don't want to see me move away, well, stay tuned to the vlog. But for now, I'm staying with Arch Linux. I'm doing it. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to keep doing it. I can do everything I do. So let's give this arch a chance. This is Anthony from Appler, and from this time, and every month, folks, keep on clicking.